So we've practiced in class using your normal probability tables to find both probabilities and also to find corresponding percentiles. Um, but I also want to show you how to use your calculator to find these values. So I've got a couple of different scenarios we're going to go through. Um, so the first, let's say you want to find the probability in between two values. And so I have a picture represented right here. And I'm interested in finding the probability in between minus 1.96 and 1.96. And so writing that out as a, an expression, I want the probability between minus 1.96, so less than or equal to z, so our standard normal, less than or equal to 1.96. So on your calculator, you can get to that using your DISTR, so your distributions menu. So I'm going to hit second and then the there's a key to get to DISTR. And then you want to page down to get to normal CDF. And then I'm going to push enter. And what this wants you to give it is a lower value and an upper value. And then it gives you the area in between those values. So that fits perfectly for what we're interested in. We want the area in between a minus 1.96 here and a positive 1.96 to the right. So I'm going to put that in, 1.96 and a positive 1.96, and I'm going to enter. Okay, so that is, so I gave you the full value over here in your um, PDF, um, but also that's just approximately 95%. So we're going to see that 1.96 come up a lot uh, as we proceed through the semester. So let's say you want the area to the right or the area to the left of a value. Uh, so say I want the probability of having a standard normal, so a z, greater than 1.96. Okay, so we can do the same thing with our normal CDF function. So I'm going to get to my distribution menu and my normal CDF. And so I want the area to the, so I need a lower bound, so it's going to be 1.96. And then I want everything to the right. And so the way to do this with your calculator is I'm going to put in a really big number. And uh, what I have put in is 10 raised to the 99th power. And to do that, you use this EE command. Right? So I'm going to get to that. And then 99. And so that is 10 raised to the 99th power. So that is a huge number. So I'm going to get the area in between 1.96 and that really, really big number. And that comes out to be this tail right here, so that right tail, which is about 2.5%. If I flipped that and I actually wanted to find what's the area underneath, right? so I still would use that normal CDF function. Uh, but now I want a really, really negative number, so I'm going to put a negative and I'm going to do 10 to the 99th power. So that is a really, really small number way, way, way out to the left. And I want the area in between it and 1.96. So I type that in. And that gives me the area then to the left of 1.96. So that's around 97.5. Right, so I've got that written out here so you can see what the commands are. Um, let's say you want to flip that, so instead of computing a probability, uh, I actually want to find a percentile. So for my graph right here, I am interested in finding the uh, value that has 95% below it. So that's my 95th percentile. So I can do that, and here I've denoted that. So I want the Z star, so that's my percentile, that has um, 0.95 below it. So to do that, again, you're going to go to your distribution menu. And this time, you're going to pick in inverse normal, so INV norm, so page down. And then you put in what percentile you're looking for. So I want 0.95 below my value. So I'm going to close that and then enter. And so that tells me that if I have 1.645 for a Z, then I have 95% below, right? So that would mean also 5% above it. 
So it'll give you a few ways to find um, both probabilities and corresponding percentiles in your calculator.